Hello Ready Up Live, Chief Kanak here with some more Halo 5 news. 343 Industries recently released a blog post about building Halo 5 Guardians campaign, along with two new videos. One of them is a trailer slash Vidoc style video that's currently airing in theaters, and the other is four and a half minutes of brand new campaign gameplay of Fireteam Osiris on the mission Swords of St. Helios. If you haven't seen those videos yet, I recommend you check them out. Click the annotations on screen or check the links in the description down below. However, the big takeaway from the blog post is now we have our answer if Halo 5 Guardians will run at 1080p and 60 frames per second. The answer is yes, most of the time. Halo 5 Guardians will always run at 60 frames per second, and this is supported by a new progressive resolution system that allows them to render the resolution up to 1080p based on the current scene you're playing or experiencing. So what does this mean? Well, the gameplay will always run at 60 frames per second, and during much of the campaign you may be playing at 1080p, but this all depends on what's currently going on in the game. If the situation gets really crazy with vehicles, visual effects, and combat, the resolution will dip lower than 1080p to maintain 60 frames per second. As of right now, we don't know how low the resolution will go at times. If they didn't have this progressive resolution system, they would have to reduce the scale of the most intense combat encounters or lower the quality across the game to maintain the goal of 60 frames per second at all times. This isn't a new system. The most recent example of a game to use this system is Witcher 3 on Xbox One, which floated from 900p to 1080p when necessary and has received some praise in doing so. 343 wanted to design the campaign missions to have the most weapons, vehicles, enemies, tactical, and exploration options ever seen in Halo, and with this system, it makes it possible. The blog post was accompanied by some pretty awesome screenshots. This one from what I assume to be Kamchata, the location of the opening cinematic, a Phaeton taking on a massive Covenant vehicle thing on Sang Helios, Fireteam Osiris and a Warthog, side note, I found it unfortunate that the fourth member, Tanaka, is not sitting on the front of the bumper, which we saw in the work in progress footage during the Vidoc. I guess the feature was scrapped. It would have solved the issue of having a four-man fire team and a three-person warthog limit, but I digress. And the final screenshot is of a massive interior location that gives an industrial type feel, and it actually has a surprise. In the bottom left-hand corner, we can see our first glimpse of the Forerunner binary rifle in Halo 5, and the UNSC sniper rifle for scale. Now it's confirmed that every Forerunner weapon from Halo 4 is returning in Halo 5 Guardians, with only one new Forerunner weapon so far, being the Splinter Turret. In the blog post, Josh Holmes let us know that throughout Halo 5's campaign we'll visit multiple worlds, and by the end of the story, the Halo universe will be forever transformed. We also have comments from the campaign's environment art lead, lead designer, and lead engineer. It's well worth the read as they go on to talk about the new physically based rendering system, the use of dedicated servers, and Xbox Live's cloud technology and how they're using that. Link to the blog post will be in the description down below. So what do you guys think of this progressive resolution system? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I understand the reasoning of this system, I just hope the resolution doesn't dip down too low. As for frame rate, I'm glad they're going for 60 frames per second at all times. After playing 60 frames per second on Halo the Master Chief Collection, I find it initially jarring at times when I transition to a game that plays at 30 frames. And with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already for more awesome Halo news and content. My name's Chief Kanuck and I'm signing out.